Next plant is number six on your list. This is Prunus seriolata Mount Fuji. Okay, so there are two different cultivars of Prunus seriolata that we're gonna do. Mount Fuji is the first, and then we'll do Kansan or Kwansan uh, in a little bit. So uh, Prunus seriolata has very distinct leaves. Okay, so they are quite large, up to seven, eight inches long from uh, base of the petiole uh, to tip, maybe even a uh, little longer. They are elliptic, they're widest in the middle. They have very distinct, as the specific epithet suggests, they are, or, um, they are serrate, and uh, they actually have aristate teeth. That means that the serrate teeth on the margins of Prunus serulata come to such a taper that they, they end almost in a little hair or gland, okay? And it has a very distinct acuminate apex. That means a very long and tapering apex. So that alone will get you to the species. One thing that a student pointed out a few years ago is that between these two different cultivars, Mount Fuji actually has more distinct and longer little hair-like projections than Prunus serulata kansan or kwanzan. So that, that can be an interesting uh, ID feature to help you. Another distinct feature uh, between the two is that if you look behind me, Prunus serulata Mount Fuji has much more of a cascading umbrella type effect whereas Kanzan tends to be more ascending in its branch structure. Okay, so this is uh, a, a smaller tree, Mount Fuji is a smaller tree, with more um, uh, uh, umbrella-like uh, uh, architecture. Finally, uh, the flowers are a single to semi-double, and they are white, and they then at, at petal drop, they will actually have a blush pink, but they are generally white uh, to, with a soft pink at the uh, uh, finish, compared to uh, Kansan, uh, which has a very distinct pom-pom full double uh, that's uh, very pink. Okay, so uh, that is Prunus serulata uh, Mount Fuji.